Hello, gentle ladies and men. Welcome to the Women Today Show with Christine Amira. This is Africa's most powerful women series as we continue to highlight African women leaders drawn from politics, business, media, science, sports, and public life. The woman that we celebrate today, therefore, is Mrs. Claire Akamanzi from Rwanda, born a refugee to leading Rwanda's top government agency. She's a Rwandan born in Uganda to refugee parents, but thankfully the humble beginnings of her life did not deter her from reaching her fullest potential. She's now a qualified international trade and investment lawyer turned public administrator. Claire is a mother and a wife also. You may have seen her on the streets of Twitter as she's an active trip who's not afraid to share, defend and criticize opinions. Her patriotism is to be admired. So why we celebrate and acknowledge her success today? Well, Mrs. Claire Kamanzi currently serves as the CEO of Rwanda Development Board and she's a cabinet member in the government of Rwanda. Rwanda Development Board, which is a government agency led by Mrs. Claire Kamanzi, is at the forefront of promoting investment, tourism, and such progressive policies. She continues to head the board with so much enthusiasm and throughout her time, she continues to innovate projects that facilitate private sector development, increase investments, tourism and exports. In 2019, RGB has registered foreign domestic investments worth 2.46 billion US dollars. This is a 22.6% increase from the previous year. Now, if you've been listening to Africa's development news in the past five years, you may, you may have seen how Rwanda, the country on a thousand hills, has experienced a lot of progressive display. Rwanda is like a dream country in Africa, achieving impressive achievements in many development indexes. For example, Rwanda is the second in Africa in the 2020 World Bank Bing Business Report and the first in East Africa. This means that it is easier, faster, and effective to open a business in Rwanda than most countries in Africa. It takes less than six hours to register a business online in Rwanda. Yeah, let's keep talking investments here for a little. This ranking by the World Bank Doing Business Report also means that investors enjoy efficiency in dealing with construction permits, getting electricity, registering property, getting credit, paying taxes, trading across borders, among other ease of doing business indicators. Talking about attracting investments, every Friday, the Rwanda Development Board hosts the Investor Open Day, where investors are free to walk in and seek consultation from the key stakeholders that are in charge of doing business in the country. Mrs. Akamanzi, the CEO and the cabinet member, randomly shows up and helps her colleague improve the investor atmosphere in the country during such forums. So I said tourism and conservation is also uh, in the country is also under Mrs. Claire's docket. And RGB, as you know, um, is the home of the mountain gorillas, an endangered species. And every year, Rwanda Development Board hosts an event called Kwita Izina, a gorilla naming ceremony to raise awareness around conservation of this species. Last year alone, they named 24 baby gorillas. It is also through the leadership of Mrs. Claire Kamanzi that we saw the partnership between the famous football team, Arsenal and Visit Rwanda. Quite a huge achievement and a marketing strategy to attract tourism to the country. You may have come across these interesting campaigns. Don't we all just love them? Well, visiting Rwanda is now easy as one, two, three, since the country officially introduced the visa on arrival and waived a visa fee for 30 day visits. So if you're from East Africa, you also get a free visa on arrival to stay up to six months. There's another docket, the Meeting, Incentive, Conferences and Events docket, which is also under uh, Rwanda Development Board through the Rwanda Convention Bureau. And through Mrs. Claire's leadership, Rwanda now attracts international forums, targeting the large dome-shaped Kigali Convention Center, where the Women Deliver Conference 2023 will actually be held. And the recently launched Kigali Arena that hosted the 2021 FIBA Afrobasket, among other cool, uh, hotels and facilities in the country, um, uh, are there to host such events, such big events. Did you also know that Rwanda was tagged as the safest country in Africa and the fourth in the world, according to the Gallup report in 2018? 
Rwanda was also ranked the third most popular destination by the International Congress and Convention Association in 2019. The country is also the cleanest in Africa and the 17th greenest place in the world. This and so many activities has Ms. Akamanzi been able to achieve and her personality is as bold and ambitious as her strides as she and her team are making at Rwanda Development Board. How do I know this? Well, I can tell you a story about myself. I lived and worked in Rwanda for two years and had the privilege of interacting with her and most of her passionate and patriotic colleagues at the institution. Hands up to Ms. Claire Akamanzi and her team Keep soaring. And for now, that's it from us at Women Today Show. Please remember to subscribe, like, follow us, and drop a comment. Also, leave a comment and tell us about the African woman who inspires you and why you'd like to highlight them too. Bye.